before I start on today's topic, I want to say thank you for commenting on my last video. You are my friends. This morning I read a blog post and it was about if you have a disability, would you want to be cured? If you don't think about it, you probably would say sure why not. You could do whatever and would have no more pain. For me, I could talk and sing. That would be awesome. If you think about this question more, you might change your mind. Having a disability is really different, but it makes you who you are. It defines you what you're all about. If I didn't have cerebral palsy, would I be passionate about disability? Probably not. Would a woman who does not have breast cancer or who does not know someone who is it, world they run for the cure for breast cancer? Probably not. A cause that you fight for stems from having the illness or know someone who is it. Having cerebral palsy is in my bones and I don't know what it feels like to live without CP. I never walk by myself or say a word when I want to. It does get frustrated, but it is a life that I have. I wonder what it feels like to talk but at the same time I am scared of what I would say. Knowing what I am thinking lately, it would be nasty. Knowing what other people deal with their cerebral palsy, I am thankful I don't have their CP. I think that God gives us the will to endure what we can. I am not saying that we draw the wrong card from the deck. But everyone has something that they are struggling. It might be small or huge. Nobody is living without some kind of pain. Yesterday I was talking to my pastor. We grew up in the same town as kids, and for the last seven years I am a member of the parish he's at. So he somewhat knows what I am going through with everything. He said that I have to move on. God knows what I am going through. He thinks that the course I am creating is awesome. You are not letting the past stop you from moving on. Life is all about overcoming struggles. If we do not face these struggles head on, we won't get past them. Cerebral palsy is a struggle that will never go away, and we have to use this struggle to do amazing things. Like that a few of you told me what this channel has done to you. I am a guy who needs a haircut back behind the camera just talking about something that comes to his mind. I never thought it turned out like it did. I love doing this because sometimes it gets things off my chest. YouTube is an awesome way to meet people. Being nonverbal, talking is hard because most people don't have the patience to wait for an answer. So I don't talk unless I know that they will wait. I know it is sad, but that is what I feel like. Before I sign off, I have to tell you something. Amy Schmitter does this challenge in April. She challenges her subscribers to do a video every day. I will try to do that, but it depends on how much work I have to do on the course. So you might see a lot more videos on the next videos. I will see you tomorrow for sure because it is April 1st. It is Chris signing off.